For decades, the state has been saddled with a backlog of rape kits. New today, that backlog is cleared. That's led to justice in hundreds of cases, with law enforcement using DNA from the kits to make arrests. WRO's Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie is live at the Wake Tech campus in Raleigh after speaking with a survivor whose cold case was finally solved. Laura. You know, Gerald, if it feels like we've been reporting on this issue forever, that's because we have. It's been more than 20 years. First, there was a backlog of cases at the state crime lab itself. And then state leaders learned that there are thousands of tests that were never even sent into the state crime lab. They had never been processed. They were sitting on shelves at local agencies. Justice has been very slow for these victims, but it's finally here. Today, there are sexual assault survivors here in North Carolina who were finally getting to experience justice after what was an absolutely horrific moment in their lives. State Attorney General Josh Stein says since 2019, the state crime lab has processed nearly 12,000 sexual assault evidence kits, some decades old. They've gotten more than 2,700 DNA hits, and so far, 114 arrests in what were considered cold cases. Stein predicts that number will grow. Every step we are sending clear messages to victims that we support you and we will do everything we can to deliver justice on your behalf. To offenders, no matter how long ago it occurred, we will hold you accountable. The backlog started in the 90s and early 2000s when the state crime lab was so understaffed that they told local law enforcement agencies not to even bother sending in rape kits unless they had a suspect. That left thousands of untested rape kits sitting on shelves across the state, including Miss Linda's. Rape kits give the victim a voice. A voice empowers victims to learn how to heal from the inside to the outside. Miss Linda, who asked us not to use her last name, is the survivor of a sexual assault in Fayetteville in 1992. 26 years later, her rape kit matched a criminal in the DNA database. He's now serving a prison sentence for her rape. Miss Linda helped to lobby for the funding to clear the backlog. She's not angry that it took so long, but she's glad it's finally over. We can't let it happen again. There cannot be another backlog. There's no reason for there to be another backlog. We've learned too much. Now, there have been some state changes in state law to make sure that this does not happen again. Each as sexual assault kit, for example, now has a barcode that victims can use to track it through the process. And law enforcement agencies and hospitals now have clear deadlines for getting kits into the lab, suspect or no suspect. Laura Leslie, live in Raleigh. Thank you, Laura.